Hi, this is Vato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Solomon Moisevich Slonim and Nikolai Nikolaevich Ryomin. Very nice names. This game was played in Moscow in 1932. Slonim had white pieces and he started with e4. Ryomin played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, and now d4. Scotch game. Pawn takes pawn on d4. Knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Knight takes on c6. Black to move. How to recapture with b pawn or with d pawn? b takes on c6 was played in a game. This is the most popular move. Sometimes black captures with d pawn, but this is not popular. Let's have a look at one line, which will help us to understand why this is not a popular move. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. And now bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Unpinning Knight to c3, bishop to e6, castling queen side. Check, and white is better. Okay, let's go back to our game. In the game we have b takes on c6. Knight to c3. Bishop to b4, pinning the knight. Bishop to g5, pinning black knight. This is relative pin, absolute pin. Queen to e7, intending queen to e5. Bishop to d3, defending the pawn. Queen to e5, attacking the bishop and there is pressure on the knight on c3. Bishop to d2 d5, queen to e2, intending to cast the queen side. Black castle king side and white castle queen side. Rook to b8, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Would you capture the pawn on d5 and exchange queens? Or would you play f4? attacking the queen. In the game we have f4. Believe it or not, better is pawn takes pawn. And after queen takes queen, bishop takes on e2. And after pawn takes a3, white is okay. Let's see what happened in the game. In the game we have f4. This looks much better on the surface, but it has a downside. Queen to e7, pawn takes pawn on d5, and we have reached the most interesting position of the game. Black to move, what would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this fantastic move? Bishop to a3. Threatening bishop takes on b2. White to move. How should white continue? In the game we have knight to a4 defending the pawn. How about queen takes queen? If queen takes queen, then bishop takes on b2 check, king to b1, bishop takes knight discovered check, king to c1 check, king to b1 check, and what now? Bishop to b4, then rook takes bishop, check, queen takes rook, Bishop takes queen and black is winning. Let's go back to our game. 
in the game we have knight to a4. And how about pawn takes bishop? Is that a good move? Well, that is the best move. This would end the torture very quickly because of queen takes on a3 check mate. Okay, back to our game. In the game we have knight to a4. Black to move. How would you continue now? Ryumin captured the pawn on b2 check. Knight takes bishop. Queen to a3 threatening queen takes knight check mate. Defending the knight. Attacking the defender. Queen to d4. c5. Queen to c3. How would you continue now? Ryumin captured the pawn on a2, threatening checkmate. Bishop to e1, making the room for the king to escape. Black to move. How would you continue now? If bishop to a3 was a fantastic move. Next move that black played is twice as fantastic. Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? Hmm? What did you find? Did you find this fantastic move? Rook to e2 preventing king escape. What a move. White played the obvious. Bishop takes rook. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? The move is Knight to e4 attacking the queen, preventing the escape to the king. White resigned, there is no sensible defense. What a game! What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.